Now let us solve some trigonometric equations involving secondary trigonometric ratios. And here we will write our answers to 10th place. Okay, so we are considering theta within 0 to 2 pi and we will write all our answers to 10th place. We will round it. So let's take the equation like 2 cosecant x uh, plus let's say 13 equals to uh, 11 or okay 11 plus cosecant x for example. Okay, Let this be one of the equations and let me take another equation as secant x. So we'll say 2 secant x plus 1 equals to 6. Let us solve these equations. Now these equations are in reciprocal trigonometric ratios. Normally you don't have these uh, ratios on the calculator key. So to find the answer we'll have to turn them into the primary trigonometric ratios. But first simplify the equations. So we have 2 cosecant x. Let's bring that secant x to the left side. So we have cosecant x equals to numbers on the right side 11 minus 13. So that gives us cosecant x equals to 11 minus 13 is minus 2. So that is cosecant x. Now cosecant x is reciprocal of sine x. So we could write this as 1 over sine x equals to minus 2 or we could also write this as sine x equals to minus half right so either way so that is how you can write this function as now since we are expecting negative answer we are looking into two possibilities one will be in quadrant 3 the other one in quadrant 4 simple reason that sign is actually positive in quadrant 1 and in quadrant 2 but it is negative in 3 and 4 right steps to solve this is we have to first consider the related acute angle alpha so we can say sign of alpha is equals to positive value always take the absolute value since in quadrant 1 all trigonometric ratios are positive so in this we have to find the angle alpha this has to be positive so we can say alpha equals to sine inverse of half right so we can use the calculator and then say sine inverse of half 1 divided by 2 bracket close is equal to pi by 6 right so at present I'm using pi by 6 then we'll convert that to decimals later right so we'll have pi by 6 now in these two quadrants what is going to be the principal angle so principal angle we are considering we have taken equation in x so let me write down x here so x over than 0 to 2 pi will be here it is equals to pi plus pi by 6 right and in this quadrant it is going to be 2 pi minus pi by 6 pi plus pi by 6 is 7 pi by 6 and 12 minus 1 is 11 so we get 11 pi by 6 so these are the two exact values right to get the decimal values what we should do is we know pi times 7 equals to divide by 6 equals to we can convert to decimal values and this is 3.665 or 3.6 we can write 6 6 which is equal to so let me write down the answers here now okay so x equals to to tenth place means 3.7 radians that is one answer the other one is 11 we can say times 3.14 divided by 6 equals to in decimals 5.75 so it gives round to 3 I mean 5.75 rounds to 8 right radians so these are x1 and x2 values for the given question right so that is how you can round and give your answer to one decimal place right so we're done one of them let us do the next one 2 secant x plus 1 equals to 6 so we can say 2 secant x equals to 6 minus 1 which is 5 or secant x is equals to 5 over 2 secant is what secant x is equals to 1 over cos x right so we could also write this as cos x is equals to 2 over 5 
Now cos x is positive that means we are looking into two solutions. One of them should be in coordinate 1, the other one in coordinate 4. Now let us first find the acute angle. So we have cos of alpha equals to 2 over 5, alpha equals to cos inverse of 2 over 5. Got it? Let's use the calculator. So we have cos inverse within bracket 2 divided by 5 bracket close equal to so we have acute angle alpha is 1.59 1.159 okay now the answers are one is the acute angle itself and the other one is here right which is 2 pi minus the x right so we say x is equals to 1.2 rounded to one decimal place the other answer will be uh, 2 pi minus 1.159 right so we'll do this is pi times 2 minus 1.159 equals 2 so that is equal to 5.12 so rounding to one decimal place we get 1.2 and 5.1 radians as our answer right so that is how these equations can be solved so remember one thing whenever you're working with the secondary ratios then to find the primary you have to do the reciprocal and then use calculator to solve the question i hope that helps thank you and all the best